Question number seven, Materia Tūrei. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister in charge of the New Zealand Security Intelligence Service and asks, does he stand by all his answers to oral question number two on 5 November 2015? The Honourable Christopher Layson. Yes, although in response to a supplementary question from uh, James Shaw asking when I was first made aware the NZSIS had not provided a copy of two visual warrants to the Inspector General, I replied, quote, from memory, about a fortnight before the Inspector General released her report, close quote. I've now checked the exact date I can advise the House I was made aware on 28 October 2015. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Materia Touré. Given the NZSIS Act explicitly states that the Director must provide copies of visual surveillance warrants to the Inspector General, does he believe that Rebecca Kitteridge breached the law by not doing so? The Honourable Christopher Mason. Mr Speaker, what I certainly believe is that the NZSIS did not comply with a reporting requirement in the legislation but I also need to say to the House uh, that the Inspector General has not raised any issues regarding the propriety or the lawfulness uh, of the warrants themselves. Both the Director, the Commissioner and I all read, uh, reviewed and approved the warrants for issue in our respective capacities. The failure was the failure to comply with a reporting requirement. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Materia Touré. On what date did the Minister first review the two visual surveillance warrants? Honourable Chris Finlayson. Uh, I'm, I don't carry uh, that level of detail around in my head, and even if I did, I would not say, because that would be a, a sensitive issue, which could give rise to issues about uh, who was being surveilled. Did the Minister... Order. Supplementary, supplementary question, Materia Touré. After the Minister approved the two visual surveillance warrants, did he immediately follow up with the Director to ensure that she had a plan to send those warrants to the Inspector General? The Honourable Chris Finlayson. Mr Speaker, I don't think the member understands the procedure. I don't approve warrants. The Director makes an application to me. The <coughs> Commissioner of Warrants and I both look at the matter and then sign them out. Uh, in answer to the particular question, did I say has the reporting requirement uh, been complied with? No, uh, I would regard that as an operational issue. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Materia Touré. Why did he not follow up with the director to ensure she had followed the reporting requirements in his new legislation over the many weekly meetings he had between signing off on those visual warrants and being finally told that the reporting hadn't been done. Uh, the Honourable Chris Finlayson. Uh, I don't think the member listened to the previous answer. I regard compliance with reporting operations uh, as being an operational matter, and I have every confidence in the director to attend to those matters, uh, and she is now putting in place steps to ensure that there's no repeat of uh, this failure to comply with the reporting issue. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Materia oh. Touré. On what basis does the Minister have confidence in the Director when for a number of months, during which she had weekly meetings with him, she failed to advise him that she had not completed the reporting requirements set out in new legislation that he had passed just a few months before? The Honourable Chris Finlayson. Mr Speaker, that is not the, the correct chronology. The Director advised me that she first became aware of the issue on 19 October, and when we had our first regular meeting after Labour weekend, she pointed out the issue to me. She apologised, as I said in answer to a question from Mr Shaw last week, uh, and she has put in place steps to ensure that this reporting requirement uh, is complied with in the future. That is what I expect of her, and she is a very competent and trustworthy person, and I expect that this will be done. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Materia Touré. How can the public have any faith in his statements of uh, competence and trustworthiness of the director 
when she did uh, not give the Inspector General copies of the warrant, warrants as she was required to under his new legislation. She failed to tell him about that failure over many months of weekly meetings, or does he blame himself given he failed to follow up and check that the law had been complied with? The Honourable Christopher Nason. Mr Speaker, the member is choosing to create a narrative to uh, make this into a first grade federal crime. The fact of the matter is it was a failure to report to the Inspector General. Uh, as soon as the director found out about it, she told me and has put in place steps. And I ask the Honourable Member to bear in mind that the propriety of the warrants and the steps taken uh, to uh, see that the warrants were properly executed uh, were all complied with under the law. This was a reporting requirement. So don't over Question number eight, Alfred Nunn.